Hey everybody, Steven here, and today I'm doing an unboxing video for the Red Dragon Anvil speakers. I got this off of Amazon for $35, and then they have a $3 off coupon, which means typically you may find other coupons down the road, so always look out for those. But this is my second rig. This isn't my main rig, so I wanted something that would fit what I need it for. I don't need a ton of sound down here. And then I didn't want to spend a ton of money. Like, my main rig has the Logitech G5 60 speakers upstairs and with that I mean those were $200 so didn't want to actually spend a ton I don't use this a ton but I do use it so right now the main rig is upstairs in my bedroom and if my wife wants to go to bed early or something like that and I want to record this is kind of my backup rig to do that and so I am slowly kind of building it up hopefully when we get our next house I'll have my own office so I won't have to actually worry about that as much but with this I actually have the MSI ultra wide here so one is something that would also fit the aesthetics of that and this actually does that with the dragon there red dragon is also the first mouse pad that I used when I built my first PC, I don't know, seven, eight years ago. So I thought it was fitting to actually go with them. Now this is 2.0 channel with this. It does have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And then these are five watt speakers. So in the box, we got a sticker. If you want to do that, we got a setup manual here. And then these are the speakers. So this is going to be at the very end. You can either use the uh, USB or the auxiliary plugin with that. I do like that option. There's a little bit more versatility. And then let's get these things all wrapped up. And then, like I said, we will do a sound test. So you guys can kind of hear what these sound like. I don't expect them to be incredibly loud since they're just five watt speakers, which is comparable to what I've had on some of my monitors. Now, the reason I Actually, I'm getting these at all is because the MSI Ultra Wide here doesn't have speakers. And as much as I like using my Philips um, headphones right here because they're super comfortable, sometimes I just don't want to mess with that at all. So let's go ahead and get this uh, set up. This is the look right here. It has an inspection, quality inspection sticker on the back of it. And then does it even tell you? which one is the left and which one is the right with this. I'm not seeing that anywhere. Although in the picture here, it's showing this one on the right and then this one on the left. But yeah, I'm not actually physically seeing that on these speakers. Has a little deal on the top. I guess you touch that for the lighting. On the front, we're going to find the power button and then volume up, volume down. And with this, I thought we were going to have the, when it mentioned the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, I thought that would be where you would actually have a port on this to plug this in. And it does not. On the bottom, you'll find some soft pads. They don't look anything special. It looks like something you could buy at Walmart with that. But keep in mind the price point. What are you going to get out of this? Um, and then you'll actually have the RGB lighting strip right here as well. But like I said, let's get this thing set up and then uh, we'll do a sound test with it. All right, so all set up. This is max volume. So this is Subnautica Below Zero, a game I play a lot on the channel. I mean, it, the, the sound quality in terms of how loud it gets, it's not gonna wow you, but it gets loud enough for anybody that's playing that isn't trying to broadcast this. You really just want it for your personal use, right? Now, the USB is to connect it to power. And I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Okay. So the USB is, is used to connect it so it has power, and then the auxiliary, the 3.5 millimeter jack, is so that you can actually play sound through it. So if you can plug this in and if you have a phone that has an auxiliary um, port with it, you could just plug it in. You could play music off of your phone. Interestingly enough, in the manual, it says that uh, you can hold the top button, which is used for the lighting feature. So I have the lighting feature right here. You can push that red, green, blue. You have the RGB like rainbow, which actually matches down here, which is pretty awesome. And then you have this one right here, which I like the look of this one. 
And with that, uh, it said if you hold down this button, you can turn on Bluetooth. This does not have Bluetooth, so I don't know why it's saying that. Maybe it's just a, a mix-up with this or another product that has Bluetooth, and this is just kind of something that they just send out with all of them. I don't know, but it doesn't have Bluetooth. I already checked, and then I checked on the uh, Amazon listing for it. But uh, with this, um, if you hold down the power button, so we got the power button over here and then you have volume up and down. So I could turn this down just from this. So you can have your set volume with the speaker and then whatever you're gonna do, and it makes that loud beep um, when it's at max volume. And then you could change it again with the uh, computer, right? Your PC with this or your phone or whatever you're plugging this into. But if I hold this down for a little bit, we can turn the lighting off. So if you don't want the lighting, there is the option to actually do that and then we can turn it back on. You'll hold it down for a little bit longer and then it'll turn the thing completely off. But let's go ahead and get a little bit of the game going here. So this is 50% volume, so you can hear that. I'm not gonna leave them here. I'll most likely actually put these behind because this is the max stretch that I can get here which doesn't quite wrap around my ultra wide. So most likely, if I don't like them sitting there, I'll actually probably put them behind the monitor. Or if I get a monitor arm, I guess I could probably raise this up a little bit if I wanted to. Do it like that if I wanted to. Although at this point, I don't know, is that the height that I want for this monitor? That's the other thing to consider. If you have a regular monitor, 16 by nine, it's not gonna be an issue. But that's something I did notice with this. It's supposed to have the voice work in it, I don't know what's going on. That's why. Now the voice work with this is something that has more to do with the settings. Because the game's in development, it needs to be tweaked. But 50% volume, or sorry, 100%, back down to 50%. And let me tweak this one more time. So let's go music, 50%. It's not gonna, I mean, it's 2.0 channel, so it's not 2.1, you don't have a, uh, subwoofer with this but for what I'm gonna do here like I said you're on a budget you get some RGB lighting with it I think the sounds pretty good like I said it's exactly what I needed I don't need more than this maybe down the road and it's not gonna compete with my Logitech speakers welcome to 45 46 feet enjoy your stay 50% sounds pretty good with this. This is a comfortable volume that I would sit here and listen to this with. Or 100%, sorry. Once again, bumping the music all the way up. 100%, back down to 50. Like I said, I think 50 is where I'm probably gonna sit with this. This gives a good idea of music also. I don't want to play regular music on the channel because they're going to slap me with copyright stuff. So I think the aesthetics are, are pretty solid. I wish the cord right here was a little bit longer. The cord for the auxiliary, the 3.5 millimeter jack in the uh, USB is long enough, right? It's, it's probably like four or five feet. Um, if you're needing something that's going to stretch out really far, it's not going to do that. Um, but Color options are basic. Like I said, 35 bucks, you get the $3 off. Like for 30 bucks, looking at something that I might buy at Walmart for like 20 to 30, I'm gonna go with something like this. I like the lighting effect with it. I like the aesthetics with it. It fits very well with my rig and it's not gonna break the bank. But uh, that's gonna be it for this one. Hopefully it gives you a better idea of the sound quality with these um, and then the look and then kind of what you get with it and how you would set all of this up. So 
If you have an ultra wide, something to consider, it's not quite wide enough for that. So you're gonna have to raise this up or you're gonna have to be in front of your monitor or behind it. If, a, if you have a 16 by nine, it's not gonna be an issue. Should have some music with this. That'll click in. There we go. So I think overall I am happy with this purchase for sure. So that's gonna be it for this video. I am gonna make sure that there is a link for this in the description so you guys can actually find this there. And uh, if you have any questions, maybe there's something I didn't cover with this video, let me know in the comment section. So that's gonna be it for this one, everybody. If you liked the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.